So guys, we're going to be uh, doing a couple of miles walk here around. It will take you around the back of Penrith Police Headquarters. Now, we were speaking to a local there and he said there's public footpaths running all the way through it. Look at these, uh, look at these horses here. They're brilliant, aren't they? Hello. Itching like mad because it flies. But yeah, so uh, the, the fellow says, oh, it's going to look like you're going through um, private property. But he said, no, it's all public footpaths. There is a sign at the beginning of this road that says that. So yeah, we're just going to do a bit of photography in the area. It's bloody lovely around here, you know. Absolutely lovely. So come on, guys. Getting a bit of photography, and you know. All oh, right, fair enough. Wow, fair what enough. is this place? This is police headquarters. Oh, is it? Uh, it's under police headquarters. It's going to be. So it is. All oh, right. That was all. So. Yeah. And what do you do? Police. Are oh, you a copper? Mm. All oh, right. Pardon? In yourself? No, I'm not. I'm just a member of public walking through. All oh, right, fair enough. Fair enough. No problem. What, so what's that? What's that for? There, that uh, like there's a bit of. Um, Old stone building there, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's just an headquarters. It's the old, old hall. All right. It's quite nice, isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? Not a bad spot to be. Not a bad spot to be. So, did he? Did the public always use this path, like? Yeah, yeah, he can do. Right. Yeah, it goes all the way around. I'm gonna go for a run myself in a minute. Oh yeah. Quite nice. Oh, brilliant. Nice place to be. It is, isn't it? It's I'll lovely. See you on the other side. Hold on. I'll see you on the other side. Why are you on the? Are you going on the other side? I'm gonna go around that way in a minute. All oh, right. It's not so bad a place. Yeah. Do you, have these ever gone for you, lambs? No. They're a bit scared, aren't they? Uh, they're too timid. Timid, aren't they? Daft creatures, sheep, you know what I mean? Yeah. Daft creatures. Oh, it's bloody lovely. It's not bad weather, is it, either? No. Oh, aye. Alright, right, buddy, you have a good run. I will do myself. So, how about you, then? Are you just hanging around? Well, no. I'm just gonna, well, I don't know. Whoever takes the fancy, really. Having a mooch about. Yeah. Just watch yourself when you're taking pictures, that's all, because you're fine there because you're in a public place, it's absolutely fine, but just be aware somebody might have a word, that's all. What, like, what, get arsy or something? Well, just because it's quite a, you know, it's quite a, you know, important place, that's all, and just cameras are a bit, people will question it, that's all. Will they? Why? Well, just because it's a very popular place, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Is it really that crazy? Well, there's lots of stuff that goes on in police places, isn't there? I don't know. That's all. You're in a public place, it's no problem with you taking pictures, but it's just more for you to be aware that you might get stuck. Uh, but would they rather or not? Or not? What? Well, Do it. arguably, yeah. They would? Not, probably not take pictures, but you're in a place, you're entitled to do so. All I can do is say that you might get questioned by it. So guys, you've heard it here first. Arguably, yes. But you've just admitted that I'm in a public place, Constable. So... I think I'll definitely be seeing you on the other side when you go for that run. I might even have my fishing rod ready. Come on, guys. All right. That's all. No I wonder why they would. Well, it just depends on the information that there is, that's all. If you think what we cover, you know, lots of information about lots of different people. Yeah, but you wouldn't have them outside, would you? No, I wouldn't, but equally, it's still a bit of a, it's quite questionable, isn't it? Right. That's all. There's no drama stuff. Yeah. So you're not doing anything wrong with where you are. So but question here, would a timid photographer get put off and walk away by this polite smiling constable? Who knows? So I asked him this guys because uh, another constable elsewhere told me he would arrest me for this, which this guy says no. So after chatting a bit of bollocks with this fella for a while, I decided to knock it on the head. Uh, get his number 
and head round to the front of the headquarters and see what we can see there. Come on. Can I have your uh, call number just because of the permission you you gave me to come in here? <laughs> <There we laughs> <go>. All right. <laughs> call number's 2830. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, yeah, just Are you based here as well? Yeah, yeah. All right. So just so you're aware, just watch what you're doing, taking pictures, because ultimately there's lots of sensitive information around here. Right. So, yeah, where you are, you're in a public place, but just so you know, you probably get stopped and asked. Just yeah. Because what, you know, no, but the thing is, I've got my drone in my bag. I'm going to take my drone up. They won't be bothered about that, will they? Have you got your, uh, was it, uh, Operator's license and everything. Yeah. yeah. Like Fully covered, like. I, d I don't think there's any problem, but to be honest with you, I don't know much about the law about drones, so. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think there's any issue. Remember, the public asks you to stop filming, then I don't want to be inclined to stop filming because it's only cause them upset, do you? It's not really fair. Well, that's, but, that's a grey area, isn't it, that as exactly, well? Exactly. Yeah. All right, I'll leave you anyway. Yeah, you All take right. care, buddy. Thank you. Come on, mate. Come on, How many miles have you done? I'm not sure, to be honest. Never measure it. <laughs> hey, I've got a lot of number plates. Oh, I've got a lot of number plates. Okay. Private ones. Yeah. But are they private? It's in the public domain, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Well, as far as I'm concerned. I can't get access to the database. Well, you won't be able to get any access to any database. But they get triggered. What do you mean? Like, oh, you can't take pictures of my private plates. Depends what people say. If somebody says to you, please don't take a picture of my private plate, don't take a picture of my private plate. Yeah, but you can do. You can do, but still people are asking you not to. It's yep. not being a decent human. What if I... It works both what ways, What if I it? politely decline, like? Well, fine, but arguably, it's a public order offence. It's, it's not. It's a visual rest representation. No, it's not. Don't you lie, okay. Constable. I'm not lying at if, all, What if I, I refuse to... Either way... Showing your camera or something, arguably it's a public order. No, event. it's not, mate. You need educating. Sorry, you're a good guy. I think so, pal. You, are, you do need it's educating. It's a visual representation. No, it's not. Okay, which can cause alarm and distress. No, it's not. Read the law. It's Cheers. not, mate. Cheers, pal. No.
Have a nice day, sir. Please educate yourself, please. So guys, you're probably wondering where that came from then. Basically, I was approached while I wasn't filming, just chilling on the grass, by probably a copper. He didn't hang around for too long, asked me a question. I replied to him, and he more or less got off. He asked for it. He just didn't want to, he didn't want to have any time with me other than to ask me, am I uh, documenting people's number plates? And my reply to him was, I'm documenting everything in the area and everything that I can see, but not specific to people's number plates solely so in section 4a of the public order act 1986 it says a person is guilty of an offense if with intent to cause a person harassment alarm or distress see intent i don't go and try and intend to cause anybody alarm harassment and distress no way with a camera so that's snowflakes isn't it yeah so it goes on to say, if the person uses threatening, abusive or insultive words or behaviour or disorderly behaviour or displays any writing, sign or other visible representation which is threatening, abusive or insulting. Now, I'm presuming this is the part of the Public Order Act that is trying to quote to me because... Section 5 is specific to being abusive and threatening, isn't it? So, yeah, it's like, this is where we're going with things, guys. You know, um, rather than just say, yeah, a camera, it is, it's just a pair of eyes, basically. So, how can you be, how can you be, um, feel har harassed, alarmed and distressed? So, this, this copper now, he's not going to be fighting for people's rights on the streets, is he? He ain't going to be putting people straight, speaking like that to us, guys, and getting off. Whether or not I've missed something, guys, please pull me up on it, you know, but um, this is the snowflake police that we have today, guys. Absolutely crazy. But anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you there, and until next time, ciao.